What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. So Google surprised us all today and released the Android 13 Beta 1 for the uh, pixels that are actually eligible for the update, including the Pixel 6 and 6 Pro. And uh, you know we got it here. So it finished installing. We're going through the rest of the setup right now, as you can see. Let's get right into it. Okay, so here we go. As you can see, the phone is actually in the process of completing restoration and all that. First things first, let's see if anything's improved on the uh, Pixel 6 Pro's fingerprint sensor for those of you that might be having an issue. You can see that worked out pretty well. Again, this isn't really meant for something like this, but always good to see, especially in a first beta form from a flagship device, it is working. Now, moving past that, here it is. You can see it right here, Android Tiramisu. That is the official name for Android 13 uh, that will be coming out probably in stable release, final release around October like it traditionally does. Um, it is running that same February 5th security update. And for those of you not familiar with how the beta process works, uh, anybody can flash this. Google severely recommends you do not uh, use these OTAs on your primary device or to flash these uh, on your daily driver just because of how unstable they are. I haven't been using it long enough to truly see exactly if there's going to be any issues yet, but just a quick call out for you guys that might want to get in on the latest and greatest, might want to hold off. But if you guys are brave, there are going to be a couple developer previews. There's actually going to be six total previews for um, Android 13. The first two are going to be obviously in February and March. Then you should get more stable beta releases in April, May, June. And then stable releases near the end of June, July, August, uh, and then you'll have that final release September, October time frame. So just something to keep in mind. Nice to see that they have surprised us with this after just releasing the beta preview of Android 12L yesterday. So having said that, at a first glance, there is not much different here. You can see again, though, that Tiramisu is running here. There are some new panels that you can select in here for your quick panes if you decide to. Um, totally up to you. You can see QR code is coming in here. It is not yet selectable. Uh, curious to see what that really brings to the table. Aside from that though, we're gonna have a couple of other updates and one of the bigger ones is going to be in regards to full system uh, customization, kind of how they allowed in Android 12 that was only uh, really tied to the system apps. Now they're going to allow you to actually be able to change the look and feel on the app icons on all of these uh, icons, whether it's third party or system. So I got to say, so far playing around with it as well, um, it's pretty fluid, um, just like you were assuming Android 12 would have been at launch. You can see the system, kind of the wallpaper selector and the theming works pretty well and pretty smooth. No issues, no crashes yet. Um, that's always good to see, especially coming into a first release beta. Um, but we'll see what happens going further with that. Moving on to other features, there's new API in this build that are going to allow per app languages. So if for some reason you want to use beta in English, you can, and messenger in Spanish or another language, that is going to be an option as well for you. There is also a new photo picker that's going to be coming out if you actually go to photos and all that um, there will be some changes for this you'll be able to see that it's going to look a little bit different and it's going to really made to be a way of helping protect photo and video privacy of users they're adding a new system photo and video picker um, according to them that will or it should securely allow users to share items and all that um, to make it a little easier as well. So you're messaging somebody, it should be a little easier to send that more securely to your end user. Aside from that, one of the other big changes is going to be nearby device permissions for Wi-Fi. Google's finally adding the ability to use Wi-Fi related permissions that allow devices uh, to actually be discovered and connect to nearby devices over Wi-Fi without needing location permission. Um, the problem this solves is really one where an app might want to be connected nearby Wi-Fi, uh, but it didn't actually need the device location. So that's huge for you security folks and out there that are always a little concerned about that. 
anything extra for security aspects are a huge, huge plus. So obviously we did say that you saw this is Tiramisu, officially the name on Android 13 as well. That was kind of discovered in this build. And Android 13 is actually getting, as you could probably assume, some 12L uh, user interface elements. One of the biggest and easiest ones to see here is when you actually long press on the home screen. Your new wallpaper picker is right there. Kind of quick to go through some of the other uh, quick wallpaper modes that you might have had selected. And it should apply right to the device, right from long pressing on the home screen. Again, should. Let's see if it actually does it. There we go. So it took an extra second, but it did indeed work for us right from launch, which makes it extremely uh, beneficial to have. Again, none of this should come as a surprise, obviously, since Android 12L is coming right before 13. So we should see a lot of overlap here as far as feature set does go. But again, always good to see consistency across the board. There are some other little changes in the user interface menu from that and all that, but again, nothing really uh, is standing out massively yet in that regard. I'm definitely looking forward to using this more. Um, it's always been in my back pocket. I've been using my iPhone again just because of the issues I've had with the Pixel 6 Pro, but I'm very curious to see if this actually solves a lot of those, even as a beta build. Um, so as you can see, if you didn't already, my SIM card is in here. I'm going to go back to it. I'm going to give it a try with this build and we'll see what happens. Moving on, a couple of the other little features is if you guys for some reason aren't a gesture navigation fan for the swipe navigations, if you do use the three finger or excuse me, the three gesture navigation for uh, the three buttons, there's a new option to get an assistant right from the three buttons uh, as well. So one of the other options here too that was just added if you search in here for quick taps, there is a new option here now to toggle your flashlight on and off, which is nice. So if you double tap the back, and if I can get it to work, it would launch your flashlight, but cannot seem to be able to get it to work. Let's see now. I'm not sure if it's the case or whatnot, but it's not working here in this beta for me. Let me know if you guys download it below if if you're able to get it working. Oh, there we go. Took a significantly hard tap to get it to work, but it worked nonetheless. I still think it'll just be as easy toggling from the quick pain right there as well. Aside from that, that's really all I found so far in this first go through. Uh, I'm really excited to see in the coming months and all that to see what options and what new features are actually going to be live in these builds going forward. So. Let me know in the comments down below, are you guys excited? Are you surprised they actually dropped this? Uh, like I said, we had no idea it was coming, but definitely glad to see it here. Thanks for watching, guys. Thumbs up this video, really appreciate it. Subscribe to us, comment down below, are you excited about this? And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.